Yo, what's up, guys? So, here's the deal. Someone had asked me, what would I have done differently versus how I did things? And that's an interesting question. Um, I probably wouldn't have done anything different. I'm perfect. Um, I make no mistakes. I did in the early 70s, and uh, that was one mistake I made and uh, never repeated. No, I'm just kidding. Um, obviously, we all make mistakes. Hey, guys, guess what? I'll make you a deal. If you like and subscribe and engage this channel, we'll do videos for you. We will post content that's directly related to making you successful. And I promise you, if you like and subscribe, you will learn something. All right, so the first mistake or, or thing I would have done differently is set higher expectations. I'm one to set really high expectations. And my goal was to have X amount of dollars in revenue my goal was to have more than um, one truck at a certain time and stuff like that. I think I set my goals a little too low because I didn't know the industry. And, 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 and I'll, I'll explain why I said I should have set my guys' goals higher. And I think this is another thing of one thing I would have done differently is I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have paid attention to how other things do things, other people do things. I think what I did was that when I, after I bought my first truck, everything was on, on track really, really well. And we were humming along on all cylinders and it was going great. And I started looking around and talking to different haulers and they're like, hey, uh, you know, and welcome to the industry or whatever. And everyone's really polite. Well, I didn't run into any haters that were like, you know, there's more haters out there now, I think, than there is when I first started. Um, but the, the one thing that I would have done was not paid attention to the other haulers. And I'll explain what I'm talking about. This is probably what I mean about setting my expectations higher. I was looking at the other guys that were in business forever. Like there's guys that been hauling dumpsters since they were like 10 years old with their dad. And I looked at those haulers and they had how many trucks they had, how many employees they had, you know, their yards, how much, what, what equipment they use and so on and so forth. And you, you kind of gauge yourself against them. And the reason I don't like doing that is because if you want to be where they are in 30 years, then you can emulate them and you can gauge yourself against them. What I like to do is actually set my goals higher than the competition. I heard one time that if your goals don't actually scare yourself, your goals aren't high enough. So. I would suggest if you're if you're an entrepreneur starting a business, get a goal. Whether you write, I don't write anything down. People say write your ideas down. Who the hell's gonna do that? Who's gonna sit at a table and write their ideas down? I, I don't think anyone ever does that. They say write your goals down and write your and and, and so you don't forget them. Or I don't do that. I, I you got set your goals mentally in your head and say, hey, if I'm starting a business, I want to have one truck a year come online and be able to keep that one truck more that you have busy. And if there's a guy, ABC con uh, hauling, that's hauling dumpsters and he's been doing it for 30 years and he could barely keep that truck on the road or the engine just blew up and he's always going through different drivers and you're gonna emulate or gauge yourself towards that person, let it be known that you're gonna be in that same position 30 or 40 years from now, just like he took 30, 40 years and got nowhere. So I would definitely say set your goals high, set them to the point to where they scare you. I'll give you a for instance. If someone says to you, hey, what, what's your goal, Joe, whatever your name is, and you're like, hey, I want to get a truck. No, I want to have 100 trucks. I want to be, I want to be the next person that waste management buys out and has the house on the Caribbean and I'm gonna be a gazillionaire. Be realistic, but yet set the goal much, much higher than you think you could obtain because as you set your goals higher, your your way of thinking will change. So if you say, hey, I wanna, I wanna get a new truck, that's my goal, and you achieve your goal, you get a new truck, and you're not driving your old ratty piece of shit that you just started off in anymore like me, no air conditioning, you know, bouncing around like you're gonna lose a filling every time you hit a bump. You know, someone says, hey, what's your goal? And you're starting out, say, hey, I wanna have five trucks. Because after you get the one truck, you're gonna feel fulfilled and you'll be like, I completed my goal. So always be several steps ahead of your next goal. 
and set your goals higher. And I think the problem, and I, I've never done this before, I set my goal to say, oh, I want a new truck. And then I went from a used truck to a new truck in about a year. And then after that, I kind of like said, oh, I got a new truck. And I kind of took a hiatus. I think it was about a year. And then I said, well, I need another truck. And I, but my goal wasn't two trucks. My goal was only one truck. So I would say set your goal higher than you always want. Make your goals so exciting and exhilarating that they actually scare you and say, you know what, I may not, I may not achieve, you know, the status of, of gazillionaire, but you know what? It's one day at a time, one step at a time, one dumpster at a time, and know that every customer is important. And if you treat your customers that way, they'll come back. Don't um, think that any one dumpster is not important or more important than the other. Treat them all important um, and, and keep your customer service as, you know, priority number one. And that's part of your setting your goals, you know. Have your goal to be as you have a customer service department. I know these goals sound like it'll take you a long time, but you could do it. All you have to do is focus and take one day at a time. Don't obsess over the negative things. That's just one thing in your life. We're all gonna make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. I've made some huge mistakes in the business. I've bought equipment that I used one or two times that I sold, but one thing you can't do is obsess on a mistake and continue to try to make it work. If it's not working, get rid of it and shake it loose like a bad tuna fish. You know how when you're tuna fishing and you catch a shark by accident, you don't reel it into the boat and pet it. No, you cut it off the line or, well, I don't know, I'm not a fisherman, but that's assuming what you do. And you, you cut it off the line and you let it go. I don't know what you do. So if you're a fisherman, I did the wrong thing, comment, tell me what you were supposed to do. But you don't obsess over negativity. Move on to the positive stuff. Do what it takes to achieve your goal with respect to the customers and Keep your goals high. Set your goals to the moon. If you ever reach it to the moon, guess what? You're like in 10,000 better shape than most haulers out there. I see a lot of haulers, they're hauling for 20 and 30 years. They have the same truck as when they started. Um, and you know, I, I attribute a lot of that to not having high enough goals. I mean, I, I'm not in anyone else's life and I have no idea what individual, other individuals are going through. But, and, and I don't know what you're going through as you watch this, but set your goals high. Keep your guys through the sky, through the moon. Keep achieving that next level. And I promise you if, you, if you keep watching videos and you keep doing your homework and you want it bad enough, you will do what it takes to, to earn your, your place and get your piece of the pie. So I say, wake up every day, work on Saturday and Sunday if you have to, do what you gotta do, Move your ass, shake and bake, and I bet you get a piece of the pie.